What the fuck happens when a gargantuan, supposedly unsinkable metal beast of an oil rig gets smacked by a motherfucking ocean storm? And then a tiny, unprotected window lets a biblical shit ton of water into its goddamn brains, causing the whole operation to go belly up? Back in 82, the Ocean Ranger, this massive floating oil fortress off Newfoundland, was built to laugh in the face of angry oceans. But a pissed off wave smashes a tiny port light. That's a fucking porthole, folks. Right into the rig's ballast control room. Think of that as the goddamn nervous system telling this monster how to float like a goddamn duck. Water gushes in, shorts out the electrical shit, and suddenly the rig's valves, controlling its goddamn buoyancy like some giant pissed off bladder, start opening and closing themselves like a fucking poltergeist is running the show. This bastard rig starts listing harder than a drunkard, tilting 10, 15 degrees, sending out a desperate mayday. When it's time to abandon this sinking son of a bitch, the lifeboats are a total fucking disaster. They capsize. The crew ain't trained for this cold ass hell and lack proper goddamn survival gear. 84 poor souls trying to escape this watery grave end up drowning and freezing their asses off. Turns out this whole catastrophe was a beautiful fuck up of shoddy design, piss poor crew training, and regulatory oversight that was as useful as a screen door on a submarine. It wasn't just the storm, it was a goddamn symphony of fuck-ups that sent 84 lives to the icy abyss.